We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Jefferson Cougars, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, your team with a hard-fought win over the last week, 35-28 over Millbrook on the road. What were your takeaways from that game? Uh, you know, just the fact that um, I thought we played uh, pretty much, I would say, a good football game. Uh, you know, we were clean. We were resilient. Um, you know, um, I thought we fought hard, stayed with the game plan. Um, the kids showed um, a lot of, um, I would say, a lot of grit during that game um, to come out with the win, um, just sticking with everything and uh, being disciplined as far as defensively and the assignments that they had uh, going against a single wing. Um, offensively, I thought we um, we stuck with everything. We didn't take uh, too many chances throwing the ball down the field when we knew they were going to play eight, nine yards off of us. Uh, we stuck and hit all our um, all our short routes. As I would tell the quarterbacks, always take the candy. Um, so I thought we took the candy um, and played well, and played hard, and played well. Coach, we talked about last week how we knew it'd be a competitive football game against Millbrook. Overall, your team's now been in a lot of good games this year. How do you think that prepares them for this final stretch of the regular season and uh, the postseason? I'm um, hoping it prepares as well for that uh, for that stretch. Um, you know, uh, we've been in some tough games. Uh, we've had some adversity to fight in some games. So um, hopefully it's, we've seen everything um, enough to the point where if we see it down the road, the next couple of games, we'll see it in the, in the playoffs and we'll be able to adjust to it um, and take it and, and fight through it. This week, your team comes in now seventh in the state, sitting at five and two. Only a few games left this year. Is your team where you would like them to be, or are there still some things that you feel like you want to see them get better at? I mean, I, we can always get better at some things. So, I mean, you always want to see your team get better uh, throughout the year. And um, even though we're getting down late in the season, I don't think any team that would say they're exactly where they want them to be as far as, you know, Team-wise goes. I mean, we can always get better at certain things. So uh, I feel that you know we're we're in a position to be where we want to be, where we need to be. But there's still, some things we can clean up and get better at. Coach, we've talked about um, in the past, and you kind of mentioned it in your uh, first answer about the quarterback play and and Dylan Harrich's development uh, since taking over the job last year. Do you feel like he's really progressed, and in particular in the Millbrook game, what did you like about his performance? Um, I thought, like we, like I said, I thought he, um, we stuck with we stuck with the game plan. You know, um, we didn't, like I said, we didn't take too many shots. We didn't try to take shots down the field. Um, it was we took the candy, as I would say, take the candy, take what the defense gives us. Um, if something wasn't there, if it wasn't there, he got out the pocket and got out of there. Um, you know, I thought he did the. Um, read option pretty well. He ran that touchdown for read option. Um, so I thought he played extremely well this week. He, uh, you know, another step in the right direction for his progression. Um, so, you know, you just need to keep everybody, not just him, but everybody just need to keep getting better every day. Um, we always say every, every day is an opportunity to get better. So what are you going to do with today? So, um, you know, that's what we're going to always try to do is get better each day. Let's look ahead now to this week's matchup against Musselman. What have you seen from them so far? Uh, you know, Muscle Muscle was tricky because Muscle was, was doing a certain a different style of offense in the beginning of the year, and now they changed the offense, much reverted back to what they were doing last year. Now, a little bit uh, with some still some things that they were doing a little bit this year. Um, you know, Muscleman's always a tough team. It's always a tough team for us. They always we always battle hard. I expect um, them to come in and be very physical. Um, I expect them. To come in and give us a hard fought, a hard hard fought game, um, basically mainly because they're they're fighting for their playoff lives right now. Um, they're they're on the fringe. They're either 16 or on the fringe of getting in, um, and I think that's what they're going to come in uh, with that aspect of playing spoiler for us and trying to get themselves in. Um, so I feel like we're going to have to be ready for everything they throw at us. Um, and they're going to play physically, defensively. They're going to blitz us. Uh, we got to be ready for all that, all that stuff, and um, be ready to get the ball to our guys in space. We got to be able to establish the run um, and handle um, their, their, I guess their, 
their their veer game that they're going to run at us inside zone slash veer game they're going to run at us with their um, inside counters um, or everything like that. So and I think we got to be ready for anything they're going to throw at us just in case you know they throw some trick plays at us because they, they are in the situation they are in right now. Like I said earlier, fighting for their playoff lives. Coach, when you look at this team uh, for Musselman, they've definitely had some struggles offensively over the last few weeks, but uh, their defense has been really good all season long, or at least since week one, it seems like, uh, has been the strength of that team. What do you think they do well defensively that make them a, a tough matchup? Well, I think their um, their front line play is good. I mean, you figure offensively uh, they're good. You know, you have uh, the Pollard kid, you have Troy, who are good at what they do, um, and, and they just they just run to the ball. I mean, they're aggressive and they run to the ball. Um, and when they get there, they come there with bad intentions. So I mean, they're aggressive. Um, they give you different looks up front, and they um, and they'll blitz you at the right time. So you know, like I said, if you're not ready for the blitzes or what they're going to do with you, you're not ready for their physicality, and you don't match their physicality. You know, um, it could be a long day for you. Um, so that's you know, got to match their physicality, their intensity. They're going to come in there with. Um, hopefully, hopefully, it'll be a hard fought football game. What do you hope to see your team execute to get the win? Um, just execute the game plan that we put we put in place this week. Uh, I think if we execute the game plan. I think it'll put us in a situation, uh, a good situation to win the game, a good spot to win the game. Um, we have a pretty good game plan put together um, defensively and offensively uh, that we think hopefully can can work uh, the uh, ca- counteract what they're going to do against us. So hopefully we feel if we can if we can execute that game plan, eliminate mistakes, um, and match their intensity they're going to come in here with, I think we'll give ourselves a chance to win the game. All right, Coach, we're keeping up the uh, fun questions again this week to end the interviews. So uh, our question this week is, what kind of music do you listen to? Oh, shoot. Um I am an – I mean, being that I'm an older older gentleman um, growing up in – an era where there were no, I would say there were no, I guess, distinct radio stations, and sometimes everything was played on one radio station. Um, I can listen to just about anything. I, mean, I have a preference, but I can listen to anything. I listen to classic. I can listen. To, I listen to classic rock. I listen to country. I listen to R and B. I listen to some rap. Um, you know, I listen to gospel. I mean, there's all kind. I listen to all kind of genres of music. Uh, my philosophy is. Um, the person who I'm listening to can actually sing, then I can actually listen to that music. All right, Coach, appreciate the time, and good luck this week. All right, thank you. Appreciate you.